Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome back to Man vs Film. This is going to be a review for The Red Turtle. The Red Turtle is a joint collaboration between a Belgian studio and Studio Ghibli. Now, they kind of financed the movie, and these guys kind of did their own thing of it. And it's a very strange, very touching movie. It is basically about one character, a castaway person on an island. This movie is dialogueless. There is nobody talking throughout the full thing. So you see everything with a visual representation. It is about this guy who washes up on a beach. He tries to do things to survive. He tries to escape off the island, but something always pushes him back, always knocks him back. He, he's starting to hallucinate, see images of things appearing round about him. He's very isolated, very alone. And you see all this through his actions, through the way the movie paints a very vivid picture of how he is coping on this island alone. And it is terrific. It is a fantastic, really enjoyable, really affecting, really emotional movie that I just did, was not prepared for. It literally just got me so emotional without even realising what was happening. The animation in the movie is fantastic. The sound design is tremendous as well and it requires both these elements because there is no dialogue whatsoever. So you have these various beautiful images that appear on screen of him walking through various areas on the island, whether it be a, a yellow field, the, the green forest or, or the blue ocean. You have all the animals that populate the island, from the crabs to the centipedes to the seagulls to the fish to the turtles that sort of move around about them. Nothing's there to harm each other. They're all there coexisting pleasantly for the most part. And I want to tell you more about the story of the Red Turtle, but I feel that it's something that you need to experience yourself. So if you see any spoiler reviews or you read any articles, try to keep it to a minimum until you've seen the movie, because I think it deserves to have a kind of effect on you. Now, it is a little weird, but it's something that when I got over the initial sort of midway twist, I kind of went with it and I liked where it went. And the final few moments of the movie was really harrowing and upsetting and, and kind of emotional for me. And I don't think I've had an, an animated movie really affect me as much or stick in my brain as much as The Red Turtle did. Overall, I thought the movie was fantastic. I thought the animation was terrific. It looked unique. It was minimalistic, yet it sold a lot with its beautiful images, dreamlike visuals in certain scenes as well. The story is so touching and without said without words is a true marvel that you get to know this person and what he's going through. The ending is a knockout blow of emotion. It just strikes you. I thought the movie was terrific. It's 80 minutes. It draws you in, marvels you and leaves you devastated. And that's why I gave it 5 out of 5. I truly fantastic movie that I was not expecting to be as good as it was. If you haven't seen The Red Turtle, I can't recommend it highly enough. You have to search it out, check it out. I'm sure you're going to love it. And when you do, come back and let me know in the comment box what you thought of it. I really want to know. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Man Vs Film.